tuning in. Welcome to Food and Friends. I hope all is well with you. And you know, as usual, we have to give thanks for life. So today, I'll be making a curd shrimp dish. Here are all the ingredients that I'll need for this dish. I have some curry here, a little bit of rum, thyme, onions, garlic, black pepper, salt, garlic powder, some coconut cream, and some veggies that I'll be using as a side for the dish. In here, I have two pounds of shrimp that is already clean and devein as you can see and they're nice and clean and we're ready to put the dish together so I'm ready to season the shrimp so I'm gonna add some salt a little bit of garlic powder some black pepper We're gonna stir that in. Now I'm gonna add some curry, but my little trick is I never use one curry. It doesn't matter what I'm making. I usually use two curry, two different curry, just to get like a little different uh, taste in whatever it is that I'm making the curry with. So I'll put the curry in on the shrimp. And guys, remember, you don't want to put too much curry on the shrimp because you don't want the dish to turn out bitter. About three tablespoons of vegetable oil in the pan. The oil is hot and I can start adding stuff to the pot. I'll put some garlic in. I'll add the shrimp. I'll add a little bit of rum to it. There you go. Now guys, you could use any alcohol you want to use. You could use wine, you could use some rum, or even beer if you want to. Right? Add some spring onions. Some white onions. Some thyme. Give it a little stir. We'll let that just cook for a couple minutes. So these have been cooking for a few minutes. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add some coconut cream to the mix. Stir it in. And really get this party going. a little bit more and I'll let that just simmer for a few more minutes so let me give this a little taste and kind of see where we're at very good one thing missing from this and um, it's a little pepper so I'll put a little bit of uh, hot pepper sauce in and there you have it this dish is done now look at that isn't that a beauty yeah. So I'm just making the veggies to go with, uh, as a side, to go with the rice and um, curry shrimp. Add a little bit of salt. So this is uh, in two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'll add just a wee bit more olive oil to the pan. Okay, 
So now I'm about to plate. First, I'll get the rice. So this looks absolutely delicious. Can't wait to dive in. But welcome to another episode of uh, Food and Friends. And tonight we have with us our very own Chef Otis. Welcome to set. You're always <laughs> behind scene in the kitchen and here you are tonight. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you more because we're always plated so well that... Um, appreciate you um, always doing your things behind the scene yes. and so we get a chance to sit and eat this wonderful curry shrimp I know I got a little variation going on here I got some coconut shrimp as well so um, that'll be interesting to have um, but just want to know what's going on with you maybe a little background of where you were coming from with this what are your passion? People ask me, why did you say Trenchtown Rock? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And and like I told someone in an interview, I grew up in Trenchtown. Mm -hmm. You know? And the, 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 I use the term rock because when I saw how the women, you know, they were going to work, taking care of the kids, mm -hmm. you know, and they were the rock of the community. Yeah. So I'm on the rock. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to call my place Trench Down Rock. Mm -hmm. You know, most people associate it with the Bob Marley song. Mm -hmm. But that's not really why I call it Trench Down Rock. Mm -hmm. It's because of the resilience and the strength of the women in the community. Right. And they were, like I said, they were the rock of the community. Mm -hmm. And I figure, you know, I just... Pay tribute okay, to the women and homage to them, mm -hmm. to them by just saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to call my business Trenchdown Rock, mm -hmm. you know? And Trenchdown wasn't <laughs> like the easiest place to grow up in, mm -hmm. but we made best of what we had and a lot of good product comes out of Trenchdown. And you know? a lot of good food. And a lot of good food. Mm -hmm. So Nothing like ghetto cooking. Yes. Mm -hmm. So here I am today, you know, representing Trenchdown and representing mm -hmm. the mothers that you know, was working hard mm -hmm. and just saying, you know what, trench down rock. Yes. I know Valentine's, you did quite a bit. Yes. Mother's Day is coming up very shortly. And with that being said, I know again, you are doing pretty much the same thing, showcasing where you're doing um, prepared meals. Mm -hmm. So you'll have um, a couple options available, I understand. Yes. So yes. you'll have a a vegetarian vegan mm -hmm. type meal mm -hmm. um, combo meal and you'll also have a regular kind of surf and turf I think yes maybe? Valentine's Day was a big day mm -hmm. I had more work than I could even take on and wonderful I did in-house catering so just some private catering so right. yeah mm -hmm. so I, I probably could have done more you know had I not chosen that route mm -hmm. you know so i ended up doing two jobs one breakfast and a dinner and then i had like all these people calling but mm -hmm. everybody you know they wanted to have dinner at the same time so this time around i'm looking at doing kind of like a um cater prepared ca meals yeah mm -hmm. cater prepared meal like a curbside pickup drive through mm -hmm. kind of thing mm -hmm. you know where mm -hmm. i can reach more people so basically what he's saying is that 
if you plan on getting a meal for your mother, your girlfriend, your sister, that aunt, um, godparent, any female you want to recognize for Mother's Day, then you need to get on it early. Yes. You need to place your order when it comes available. Um, you need to um, make sure that you're prepared and ready to go ahead because there will be limited amount um, of spots mm -hmm. and those will fill up um, rather quickly, I'm mm -hmm. sure. So um, stay tuned, listen out, and um, make sure you get in on it. I developed that passion from a young age. Mm -hmm. And um, as I got older um, and start to venture out into different territories and, you know, exploring with different um, culture, you know, their mm -hmm. foods. And I just realized that, hey, you know what? Yeah, I can make a living just making food. Cause Do food, what you love. Yeah, because mm -hmm. food make everybody happy, you know? Mm -hmm. I worked in a couple restaurants, you know, like in the kitchen, you know, learning and developing different techniques on how to make stuff. And um, a few years ago, I decided to venture out on my own and I opened a restaurant mm -hmm. in the east end of Toronto. And um, That was Hummingbirds. The Hummingbird. Mm -hmm. And the restaurant, you know, surprisingly... It took off and we were doing really well, you know, we had all kinds of people coming through, celebrities and, you know, um, I started getting like, you know, all kinds of reviews and different magazines and, you know, mm -hmm. it was, it was, it was a fun time. I've and seen quite a bit of the reviews that was written about you and um, you've been doing a lot of catering. Yes. After, after the closure of the restaurant. I decided to make something positive of positive of, of the, the whole experience, you know. Mm -hmm. I did a whole bunch of jobs for different companies like Microsoft, Pride, you know. It's a lot Canadian, of Canadian, corporate catering. Yeah, mm -hmm. Canadian Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. And things were looking up. And then COVID hit. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the um, corporate event that I was doing you know, mm -hmm. they slow down significantly. Because, you know, home. everybody's working from home. Mm -hmm. So they're not having no board meetings and no, you know, mm -hmm. nothing Events. going on in the offices. Mm -hmm. So I do this channel and um, just to maintain some kind of relevance. Mm -hmm. And hopefully when I decide to launch out again, which is soon mm -hmm. um, in the process of finding a spot to open another restaurant so i will get some kind of uh following or fan you know, base and fan base mm -hmm. from doing mm -hmm. this uh yeah uh youtube video so that's what it is what if i may say so myself mm -hmm. this curry shrimp is really delicious you don't usually eat right <laughs> it is rather delicious so i know normally we don't get you to sit down and eat you usually prepare and everybody else eats so it's wonderful to have you here um, sitting and enjoying what you have prepared. And um, as you can see, my plate, your plate, um, it's quite good. I want to say a special shout out to all the people that have been tuning in on Fridays to check out, you know, um, mm -hmm. what we're putting out on Food and Friends. Mm -hmm. And as always, our uh, decor is brought to you by Mark Decor. Who does a fantastic job, by the way, of getting the set ready each week, you know, and um, yes, making, adding some, what would you call it? Flair. Flair. Ambiance. Ambiance. <laughs> Bling. <laughs> to the set. Now, this is some good curd shrimp and rice. My ancestors will be proud of me for this dish. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this dish. And as we see around here, you don't have to eat fast food, just make good food fast.